What? Okay, okay. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. As soon as the track was done, who the hell are these guys? We ain't playing these guys. Hell no, nah, I don't even know who these guys is. We ain't about to say their name or none of that shit, man. Let's go ahead and get to this damn show, man. Blink got a tag title shot. I didn't know Ace Austin was from, um, what's the name, man? Uh, New Jersey? I don't think it was just a Jersey City or some shit like that. My new favorite rapper. I mean, my new favorite wrestler. Oh, word up. 
That explains a lot. <laughs> it's not a good thing. <laughs> but this is... It's Mojo Rally. And the kid... Blank! And if you know they're going to do one thing, you know they're going to stay hype. Right. Gotta stay hype. 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 Yeah. These bitches ain't my type. But we'll be alright. Gonna be fucked up by the end of the night. Gotta say hi, 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 yeah. These bitches in my tank, but we'll be alright. Gonna be fucked up by the end of the night. I see a packet, waiting for action, all my money stacking. Went to the other room, some dude started grabbing. I started snapping, I beat that dude's ass. I went back to the party just like nothing happened. Gotta say hi, 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 gotta say hi. Yeah, you bitches in my time, but we'll be alright. Gonna be fucked up by the end of the night. Come to the party, we got a lot of soldiers, we got a lot of problems. So come to the party, come to the party, we got a lot of soldiers, we got a lot of problems. So come to the party. Gotta say hi, 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 yeah. These bitches ain't my cat, but we'll be alright. Gonna be fucked up by the end of the night. Gotta say hi, 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 yeah. These bitches ain't my cat, but we'll be alright. Gonna be fucked up by the end of the night. I love the way she shake it. I said I can make you pay. Um, I'm the greatest. She knew I have one in plenty. I said, can you take it? I said, she tore off all the sheets and she got underneath the blanket. Oh! Gonna stay hot. 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 These bitches hit my tight. But we'll see y'all right. I'm gonna get a devil to do blank. I heard, I've said this before. The boys heard me say this, but I don't think you did. All right. When you said that line about got to on the blanket, all right, you said that shit with so much emphasis. I was like, I was like, man, you know, Blake was really feeling it. He was building up to that shit. He couldn't wait to get that part out. <laughs> he couldn't wait to get, but I got the blanket. <laughs> oh my god, that shit. So many catchphrases you could use. <laughs> you better use them shits too. Yeah, I know. I know. But the fans don't. Alright, we got Thanksgiving, y'all. Fire, man. That was the last one that everybody was trying to get you to put up. So that's why it's last right here. I got you. Oh, it's not the, the last one? It's all good. I mean, I'm just going off of the, what's the name? The uh, order it's in on... On SoundCloud. 
But this is the upload order. This ain't got nothing to do with the. Uh, I ain't even looked at the album, like it being an album. I was kinda had the lyrics on the screen. Oh. Damn, it's 11 followers and 11 people following. It's 11 11. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Oh, nasty impact. Wait, 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 Blank. No one asked you. Alright, no one asked you anything. You better focus on winning these tag titles, all right? God damn it. It's you versus me right now, literally, all Blank taking on Kenny Omega, and I'm pretty sure when Blank first joined the Bullet Club, it was because he had Kenny Omega in a former universe. I think they was really bringing that out in Japan because of what Japan has. Now that they set the tone, this is where they're at. <coughs> to be honest with you, this is about what we get week to week on AEW is about what I thought of what their show would be. I just thought that the shit would evolve a lot quicker than it did. Like, you know, they realized that people didn't want to I don't know, man. They did it in a real weird way. They didn't want to hand you the elite on a silver platter. And so they, like, played keep away with that. Or them being themselves. And then when they got to be themselves, they played the most dickish version of themselves that they could. And I guess that was... They thought that was to get Hangman over. But to me, Hangman was over like, a year ago. I should have gave him everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we're looking at the future, yeah, and don't get me wrong, the next person I would see after that would, I mean, you know, if that's not what we're doing, and it would be the most established guy there, which was Jericho, so I'll give him that all day, and I have nothing negative to say about Jericho's run as the champion at all, but I do think that uh, Jericho shouldn't have dropped the mocks, and I get that there was two things happening, Jericho was about to go on tour, and COVID happened, and he did, but, uh, but I think he should have got it back for him to give it to Hangman, or they should have just gave it to Hangman off of Mox. I don't... Yeah, but I like that more than I like what Mox is doing right now. Honestly, I liked more when Mox was chasing the titles and Jericho had it. That was probably my favorite version of Mox when he was like trolling in a circle and uh, they gave him the car. I think he ruined it. I think he fought all those guys. But, uh, but I do think at this point right now, Hangman could be more over than Mox and could be more over than Jericho and Kenny. But they derailed that a long time ago. And I get that they got this Dark Order thing going on. So I know real life has happened a lot in AEW. And derailed a couple of plans. So I get that, but... I'm still rolling with uh, Hangman should be way more over right now than he is. And at this point right now, 
I really don't care that he's a champion. It's like that's the thing about it. It's like it's like yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so long ago I felt like they should have did this. So at this point it's like, all right. I guess I'll stick around for the main event now. Who's he fighting? And I think he's going to deliver. That's the thing about it is, like, I know I shouldn't even have this perception because it's kind of what I wanted for this company. It ain't what I actually wanted. Me, personally, I'd have took Pac being champion. I'm still trying to figure out why Pac, Penta, and Phoenix ain't fighting for the world title. Yeah, him and Kenny, I think, got the best now. Benoit, I used to think, had the best, but that's one of my favorite moves in wrestling, mostly because of Benoit. All right, so so y'all know how things are going tonight. If you ain't got a photo or your plate, get out of the party. Oh, I already know, Devil O. You good, man. You good. <laughs> yep. I was just about to say, we joined by Devil O. Houston, Texas. I'm joined by the kid, Blank. It's the leader of the Bray team. I think he already had one of those, man. Right now, he's in some shit. <laughs> what up, Bree? Wait, Bree, you said that's see what? I saw your food, but what else did you ask me? Is that that's not what you asked me though, right? <laughs> so you were trolling. All right, we get it. Yep. All right. Oh man. Seen a lot. Um, NWA works with Impact, but she's an independent woman. 
she can go wherever she wants. Yep. <laughs> oh God! This is the best song on this album. Who's doing this? I got the juice! Tell me that I got the juice! Oh God! You can't leave it, but I am too. What the fuck? Oh man! What's up, Bray? Hold on, man. I gotta take that back, man. I knew this was hitting as soon as it came on, man. I'm gonna give it a buck. I got. Yep. 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 Thanks, Oh, right, this is more than official. This is more than official. This has been more than official for at least 24 hours now. I think this shit dropped like last night, 9 o'clock. I, I just was waiting till I ate these to hear it. But if you want to count this as official, then you could definitely count it as official. Let me bang the gavel as the yak is gone. <laughs> oh God! He did say it. He said it. He said it. my best to get get this album picked up by the major labels by Goonie Gang Records I'm gonna try to see what I could do now all right I didn't know that you had the juice blank I didn't know you had the juice blank I didn't know you had the Ferrari with the roof uh. Oh man, that's what I thought you had said. We need to run that back. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Bell Bib DeVoe? Wait, what happened? Huh? Well, you said what? We're doing a mega bounce. Is he done? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yep. One more for the good guys. Yep. Here's this moment, Michael. Two. 
Oh man. You ain't never lie, but Bree, how the hell has your day been going? <laughs> okay. Oh man. Nice. I knew Pete Davidson wasn't still alive. Somewhere. Some part of the multiverse. Damn. Man, maybe I need to watch this match. In the last video, I seen Pete Davidson's face was gone, but that time it was due to Kim Kardashian. Yeah, she about ate his face. Big facts. Don't change that channel. We have singles. I think I will check that movie out. We have one of the best talents on the I don't know if I'm gonna watch Hawkeye. Oh, so when he goes heel he wears trunks? <laughs> That's crazy, man. John Cena would be in his damn underwear. Do we listen to everything on here? Then we heard pain, good vibes, Thanksgiving. We ain't here to get by freestyle, I don't think. Was it? Damn, I'll click goodbye freestyle and stay hype came on. The fuck? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I think this did play. Talking about Peacock for over a year. So you've been watching Chris Benoit matches. 
The fuck? That was weird. It worked though. What pros? You. It's gonna be colder tomorrow. It's gonna be 16 degrees colder tomorrow than it was today. I think it was like 63 today, though. Yeah, I like that shit, though. I ain't gonna stun. I went to the park for a walk, man. I got it all. Man. What you watching on Roku? Well, considering there was an impact plus exclusive in the blank, we have one of the best talents on the roster today. today. Taking on some tough competition. Maybe if you got your recent We are going to be getting extreme because of this yeah, one. There are no rules. I'm <laughs> 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 
That's definitely what I'm laughing about. He said, trust Impact wholeheartedly. He trust him with your life, Blake. <laughs> just... All right, wrestling's one thing, but don't get carried away. <laughs> I know Impact would never break my heart. <laughs> this is only one guy I know in Canada. <laughs> and I know you never lie to me. <laughs> Name's Impact. <laughs> X-Dog. <laughs> Uh, yep. Nope. Yep. If that is, then we about to find out together. I don't know, though. That's not what she wearing right now, though, right? Nah. GG. It wasn't Okada. Kota Bushi. Yeah, Mr. Bushi. Damn, so Okada never did? Okada had it broken up because he, he grabbed the ropes. Okay, okay. Is this, is this, this, is this still the most protected move in professional wrestling? This is funny. This is kind of funny, though. This is why it was smart that he went to New Japan. Phoenix kicked out of it, and then they blatantly just fucking said that the referee counted three anyway because, you know, Ray forgot that he wasn't supposed to kick out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, shoulder was clearly up before the book of ref counted three, and the ref just said three anyway, and he just went with it. Even though the commentators forgot as well, because, you know, Excalibur's the only one that remembered, and he's like, no, I think you got it wrong, GR and Tony. He's like, good, let's just look at it again. And they literally showed the, the other angle from the other side, where it's like, see, see, his shoulders were down. Let's just take another look. He's like, yeah, look, he definitely kicked out of that. <laughs> Yeah, it should have been a whole storyline. Do you remind anybody? Because, you know, that's when Don Callis was on the Jeep on his little fucking. Nobody kicks out of the one winged angel. It's just one move. Yeah, they uh, they should have turned that to a storyline. A clear missed opportunity. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out why Penta, Pac, and Phoenix ain't fighting for world titles. But they finally got the tag titles. Well, they they already tag champions finally. It's been like two years. I thought this company was supposed to be built on which is the which brother tag team is the best tag team, and they finally got the tag titles off the Young Bucks. No, you 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 said it, but American brother. Listen, the Lucha Bros aren't American. Everybody knows that. Exactly. That's why I said you clearly misheard them. They meant which American brothers. All right. So the tag team champ so far have been what SCU, then the Revival, and now you then the Bucks. The champion in AEW is all American. Not a WWE guy. <laughs> For the first time ever, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the first time ever. They finally have shown some confidence in their own talent. Go ahead, AEW. Well, the women's division never had a WWE Women's as Champion. So I give them that. I think it's going to change soon, though. I believe Ruby Soho is going to be the next Women's Champion. Impact. I think Kiara Hogan. <laughs> 
Impact's a great place. Yeah, but that's just like all sports. The same way you'll uh, boo a guy when he's on the other team, but if he comes to your team, you know what I'm saying? He make that one play for you, you good. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know, players on the team that fuck up. They get forced to leave. I wish that would have happened to Tony Romo. Oh, God, I wish that had happened to Tony Romo. Man, he fucked up the first big game he ever had. <laughs> and they're like, listen, he's the guy. That's how bad of a nine years it was prior after you, you Super Bowl. Know Cristiano Ronaldo, don't you? Yeah. Surely you've heard of Cristiano Ronaldo, right? GG's. When he played at Manchester United, right? And his teammate, no, striker teammate, was Wayne Rooney for England. Now, when it came to the, the, the world competition and Portugal came up against England, at the start of the match, Cristiano knew that he needed to get ready, you know, his own teammate because it's his only own competition. So he clearly told him, I'm going to get you sent off. And they tried everything he could do in the match to get him sent off and then deliberately made it look like he got fouled. So Rooney actually got sent off, which then sent all the English fans into an uproar because they knew exactly what had happened because the camera heard them at the start of the match. They knew it was all fucking a big ploy so that, you know, their team would get beat because they didn't have their star player anymore. His plan worked. So then they just decided that, right, well, he stays in England, they're in Portugal, let's just go fucking destroy his house, destroy his cars. Let's go to the fucking actual fucking football stadium and demand the button be sold because we no longer want him here. He's going to treat his own fucking teammates like that. Just, just so he can win a game for his country. And it worked because they got rid of him. Now, I don't think nothing like that's ever happened in American sports. But hold on. I just checked my watch. And it's boss time! What you mean? I was listening to the fans, and they're cheering, they're roaring, even from home on the couch. <laughs> yeah, uh, even trash like that's funny. Nobody was cheering. I'm really clever. Twist behavior. Yep. You better hope to God Lee ain't coming out here tonight. Otherwise, you're getting fined. Okay, guys, it's ladder match time. And the wreck, as I suspect we're about to see, will not at all be like a car wreck out on 995. I got my money on Lita. Right here, she is looking legit as always. I don't know what's harder to look at. Sasha Banks sunglasses. Take a look at the white face. I'm wearing white face. I just bought this. Yeah, that's the only one of Blake she would have have been drafted. But he's got a big show on AEW. Oh, but that's about it.
Will he score a draft pick? No. Is it my draft pick? Yeah. I'm drafting East Carver. Okay, who else gets drafted? My guys in front of I thought they were fucking drafted. Yeah, you're actually going to be the same thing. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And even then, I was going to go to the other side where he didn't just draft anyway. Big opportunity here. His car. I don't think it's none that's still old. I'll double check it though. This ain't the phone to double check it on, apparently. I definitely didn't just see it. Just grabbed Sasha's. Damn. Nice. And she just managed to throw her past the ladder. And the ladder didn't fall down. I'm glad about that, too. Maybe they finally fixed it. You know, normally that shit would have, like, flim flam the ladder down real quick. Like, the ladder wasn't even there and shit. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, because that would have knocked it down too back in the day. I ain't going to stop, man. They might have fixed it. By golly, I think they've got it. I've seen that drip. Oh, fuck the car, dog. It's old. Sasha Banks won this match. I'm willing to give her a shot at your Stratus as well. I'm going to just say that. Sasha Banks is on Xbox. Nah, but Trish, Trish must have heard me. Nah, let me say that. Call of Duty does still have moves. And Trish waiting for it. Ladder match in the main event. Oh, uh, Thanksgiving special. Turkey takeover. <laughs> we taking over Turkey. On YouTube. You know what is funny? Did you watch Survivor Series? Um, a little bit of it. Did you watch the raw highlights afterwards? Mm, a little bit of it. I mean, I know that they tried to set up this entire Survivor Series where fucking, you know, somehow the Rock's 25th anniversary and Rock was the winner from New Year's. But, whatever. It's not that that I picked up on, though. It's, it's not the fact that they were literally just, you know, trying to troll the people by making them think that The Rock was going to show up with all the Rock references, you know, referencing The Rock's new movie as well with the egg. I didn't get the rock references for that. I got Fight Club references from that. Because, you know, we keep telling them to stop stealing our shit. And all of a sudden, the fucking Vince McMahon hates thieves. Stealing eggs. How dare they? Oh, really? Yeah, but didn't the guy who stole it get a title shot on Raw? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny, man. 
kanskje nå. Sammen med sin tål om en ny hutukke. Det var en bakken Austin Fury, og den vens lukk like av Austin Fury, det er bakken... ...the title match, because he doesn't like snitches. Right, oh, re really? You literally told them that they would be fired if they didn't even tell you who stole the egg. And if they did, they would get a world title shot. Uh, and you gave the one person that you never fired, you know, other than Velveteen Dream, that did have fucking allegations against them, the title shot. He's your, your new favourite, because... I wouldn't be surprised if that's where Marty's girl ends up. When it's like... Controversy. Problematic players. Uh, you know, if nobody else is willing to hire them, Vince hires them, they're, they're literally willing to do whatever Vince tells them to do because he came from a job. And it's the WWE. Well, you know, they think that they fucking... Hey, look, I've made it. No, oh, you've not. Yeah, you made it to the toilet. Professional wrestling. Well, congratulations. Then you just flush your career away. I don't think you even have anybody on ECW, bro. Yep. Um, I think this leads the next pick to Malik. We're gonna give Malik some time to make this next pick. Nah, I haven't watched it in like two weeks now, to be honest. We, we, we Vince McMahon in charge. The same Vince McMahon that fired EC3 because EC3 wouldn't give him the rights to his name, you know. So Vince literally like, goes out and gets his own Carter Kagi. Oh, EC1 and EC2. Well, it's Nash Carter and fucking... Oh, it's like Ace Carter and Ethan Carter. <laughs> oh man, I hope that's their real name. I really do. What's uh? What is it? Oh. Hey, you nice. Ladies and gentlemen, get your pajamas. Five dollars at the Old Navy. Oh Only the bottoms. Top still twenty-five ninety-nine. Sold separately. Did he look like he's wrestling bottoms? <laughs> you seen Old Navy wrestle before? Check that out. Yeah. I'm behind. So, how much Daredevil is in this these Hawkeye episode one and two? That is going to determine how soon I'm gonna watch Hawkeye. 
That would have been the, the Hawkeye issue in the comic book I'd have read. Nope. The fuck does that mean? No, I don't mean Die Hard. That's Marvel's Die Hard. Alright, alright, so there, there, there's no Matt Murdock. It is a Christmas show. <laughs> there is Die no Hard. Matt Murdock. Alright, so there's no Matt Murdock. Alright, then, ah, I guess that shit at Christmas. I'm not going to spoil the fucking Spider-Man surprise. I'm not going to do that on the fucking Disney Plus show. I will catch that shit at Christmas. <laughs> Mocking now, fucking blank. But you know, Agatha's got her own fucking show. Oh man, oh man, I really oh, do. You keep mocking. They're still fucking. Hey man, I wouldn't be mad at blank mocking. I'm mad at the fucking Scarlet Witch show that was mocking and shit. That they didn't even call the Scarlet Witch show. They just called that shit Wanda Vision. Like, what the fuck is a wand? Like, for real, for real. It's Wanda Vision. I get that. It's television. I get that too. It's clever. I right, she's the Scarlet Witch, man. They need to get there for some respect on her. No, 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 no. Correction. Remember, she became the Scarlet Witch in the last fucking ten minutes of the last episode. <laughs> she was never the Scarlet Witch before. She was just Wanda. That's problematic to me, man. That's very problematic, man. Even though, you know, Agatha told us all along that all along she, she was the Scarlet Witch. Just needed it. She didn't know. No, she was a Scarlet Witch. Which means that in Wanda, the, the pretty much, you know, just... Once again, retconned their entire origin story because if she's a witch all along and the MCU currently doesn't have mutants, then Wanda's not a mutant, she's a witch. Which is stupid. Yeah, that's silly, that's weird. Because if Wanda's a witch, the fuck is her brother? How did he He's an enhanced being. He's an inhuman. Then the other thing about that, right? Doesn't he have super fucking speed healing as well? So, all those bullets shouldn't have killed him. By the way, killing him off is all the time. There's nothing for the movie. Oh, yes. He got a point. Why, do you know why they killed him off? Oh man, because the Fox already introduced them. Everybody thought that that movie was the end of Hawkeye. Yeah, that was a swerve. Yeah, it's Russo. Yeah, we only have we only have the lease for Quicksilver because you know Fox trying to make another X Men movie and they have fucking rights to him, so we only lease them so we can kill them. But did did Fox really use him again? No. <laughs> You see my point? You see the point though? That, <laughs> what the fuck is that? No other X-Men no movie was released after that. Listen, man. He... And then Fox sold the X-Men and everything else to Disney anyway. So don't uh, off the character. They have to get their friends from one show to meet their friends from the other. Uh, and it's still hard for them. They don't know how to do it. It's a fucking shame. I know Scarlet Witch knows who Invisible Woman is. Excuse me, Sue Storm. I know Scarlet Witch knows who Aurora Mon Monroe is. Excuse me, Storm. All right. I know that Scarlet Witch knows who Medusa is. You know, but the MCU don't want you to know. Did you see the, the trailer for She-Hulk? Nah, they got one. I might have seen and, uh, it. That's what we expected. You know, she's not just going to be walking around all fucking mean and green. She's literally fucking, it's literally fucking V-Hulk, fucking, you know, Bruce fucking telling her how to control her anger and, you know, release it when she needs to, to stay angry so she can transform. Wait a minute. No, that's not what happens. <laughs> that's not what happens. She experiences this mutation in a completely different way. 
She's permanently yeah, she goes. Yeah, by the looks of this trailer, she experienced this because of a blood transfer. Yeah. Whoosh. Yeah, I think that is, but isn't that what the original story is anyway? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that fucking, you know, just because she got the fucking blood from fucking Bruce that she got fucking, oh look, I'm angry now, oh, I'm going to change, and no, it's like, I've calmed down, I'm back to being... No, we wanted to see the green fucking chick in the fucking court, arguing with fucking Matt Murdock. Yeah, that's literally what the comic book was like, so I don't know why they're not... Yeah, well... The trailer shows you a costume and shows you a fucking <clears throat> transport that. fucking being taught by fucking Bruce how to fucking transform. You know, and, and come back down again. It's like, alright, so she's, she's literally just a female fucking Hulk. When you said she Hulk, that you literally have just changed her into the female fucking version of Bruce. And you know, she's not getting her own fucking story now. Oh, they did that with what's the name? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was Tim Roth. Yeah, they did do that though. And it wasn't the blood. They tried to fucking remake the fucking. You don't know what kind of situation you get in yourself. The serum that fucking Bruce took in the movie before going in the fucking machine. Which the gamma rays affected the fucking serum that he had in him. Which then contaminated his blood and caused them to be the Hulk. I'm here for Mark Ruffalo, man. Did they ever announce? Yeah, yeah, that shit ain't make no fucking sense. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> Like, all right, wait a minute, wait. So we're not getting the Justice League version of the CW show because you know that's the table that they're sitting at. I'm glad you finally remember. Oh that man, that's funny. He didn't just hang around his chair, he waiting for his offer. Soon as I, soon as I seen that shit, I was like, I gotta ask Casey what the fuck, the fuck this means. Justice. Okay, motherfucker, so you're just gonna switch it now. What's going on? Injustice. Like, what the fuck? How? So, what do you, Superman, now? You're about to turn bad because not Lois is dead, but Joe is dead? Like, are you serious? Yeah, he's not dead, though, is he? I don't know. I was wondering why he wasn't in the last episode. He's not dead. Was he in the last episode? I think he didn't re-sign his... I don't think he re-signed his contract. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure he was alive at the start of this episode because I'm pretty sure they mentioned that he was fucking watching the kid. Because, you know... The Wait, who's got a kid? Oh, yeah. He wasn't watching the band. Yeah, you got a point. Um, I don't know, man. It's hard to keep up, man. Wait, hold on. I ain't doing this show. I don't think we got a show. All right, we out of here, baby. But, yeah. you know, it's the, I wonder if uh, episode 3, Barry Alaska, how you been doing? Did you level up? Because, you know, that seems to be the morally fucking Armageddon, leveling up. Wait, hold on, we got other women that ain't even drafted. That's what we're going to throw in this show right here. Yeah, I heard that whack-ass crap two times this episode, so I think I owe you two shots. Um, yeah, but at least it wasn't as bad as the first episode where literally every character had to see it at least once. Yep. I know what's wrong with me you now. There's nothing wrong with my head. I just leveled up. <laughs> the next person to fucking see that, I swear to fucking God. Maybe you leveled up too much. <laughs> that shit was funny to say. Oh, man. Yeah, don't worry about Frost, you know, she's just getting to hang her new power. She, she leveled up as well. I was like, oh, I swear to fucking God, the next fucking person to see the what is with the leveling up? Hey, I just took the elevator. Yeah, I took it a level up. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe my new speed is because I leveled up, and that's why I'm going to go mad. I swear to fucking God, we're going mad just watching all these fucking things. This is stupid. And then episode fucking two is like, wait, so... Oh, yeah. Jordan Cara's off-world. Off-world where? Yeah. 
this is how you're just going to ignore the fact that, oh, they're in the same city, but they're not in the same city anymore because they've done a Wally West and, you know, they're with the legends, but they're not with the legends. That's wild, though, man. I don't think Candy Blade even drafted. Yeah, even the legends of tomorrow have fucking done the same fucking thing as well now, because, you know, Avengers, Dark Avengers, Justice League, and Justice League. Now they have the legends and the Dark Legends. Oh my god, what is wrong with us fucking... What is a dark legend? Who's on this team? Maybe I should be watching this now. It's the same legends. Oh. They're just all evil now. Nah. Probably robots. Robot clones. You know, robot clones is a thing, apparently. Yeah, they've been a thing in Star Trek. I That's wish. not a clone though, Bree. These are literally called robotic clones. How the even... fuck can you have a robotic clone? <laughs> you're either a clone or you're a robot. You can't be both. Because Detroit becomes human. So I know what they're doing. And the way that they're, they're wording it. It's LMD. Stupid. It's because they're fucking literally fucking... Robotic replicas, so they look identical to the other person, therefore they're a clone, but they're not, they're robots. They're androids. But because they look like the other person, that makes them a clone. No, it fucking doesn't. <laughs> Disney tried to fucking cancel it from being canon and everything, but didn't you watch fucking Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Nope. nope. <laughs> you breathe. I was talking about the police. <laughs> you know, they clearly have taken all their inspiration. <laughs> oh man! But back to the oh, question: man. Man. Why didn't you watch Bucking Agency Shield? So it's your fault that it was cancelled. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm blaming you now. Not only was it cancelled and fucking taken, but oh, out man. of canon. You, you ruined the entire storylines of everything. You know something? Daisy still had a chance to be in the MCU, you know. And you I don't know what I'm about to do, yo. Um, I think we got about eight guys. Yep. I'm about to decide who I'm about to pick right here in this match. I knew this was coming. 
Yep. We need more. The UK stuff is what's finally gonna get reinforced. That's Gordy Cream, though. No, 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 P. I am. I am just. I am following your example on this one. You know, the Malik situation. You know, take any court for sexism, take any court for nationalism, take any court for racism. I'm just trying to figure out what wording I should use since you want to mock all the products. The productism. Productivity. Don't worry. Eventually. Oh wait, what was the streamer's name? Yeah, yeah, it was that ism. Jonathan? Racism! Hmm. There's gotta be one more guy in the BBC that ain't been drafted. Somebody else. There's somebody else. Um. How he got drafted? Uh, Corbin got drafted. I drafted Jey Uso. King. I don't even think ETR's got a guy anymore. Yep. Who here is in the BBC? A warrior didn't get drafted. I bet. That's it right there. Yeah. Um. I'm not putting no title on the line. Yeah, out there. It's about to be my next pick right here. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Um, I think we. I would like to drop Aiden English for Kyle O'Reilly. No one has. All right. All right. That's a done deal. Um, um, I don't think there's many other women that's not clean. Oh, that's not true.
want to see the making of the what if one but I'm going to want to see more of that little last episode what you mean wasn't it already it's not on show yeah but you know they're, they're doing season 2 which means it's the continuation of the, all the ones that we just got so you know, the stories continue yeah well, I, I think that 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 last story when he shows up but we also get Marvel Zombies, you know, the actual Marvel Zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what, what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, a spinoff. Yeah, so they'll probably do little spinoff animations of all the other War of Ones as well. Uh, I think we're going to get the IRL version of a couple of them other spinoffs. Yep, I think that's the only reason they did a couple you, of them. You, you know Black Widow's back, don't you? I don't even know what that means, but... She's in the world. Oh, okay. It's just a short shot. Whatever name change they get before it comes out again. Yeah, I'm here for that, man. It's probably a scroll, but you know, it's still. What we do? These people don't know what scrolls are. <laughs> they rehired her, so. <laughs> they didn't watch uh, Captain Marvel. They don't know what a scroll is. Um, hey, you hold it down, Bree. You all okay? Bye. 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 Catch you later. I do need to get some Aquafina. Alright. Oh, we need one more match.
It's been tossed out because tonight, WWE goes extreme. When it comes to rules, there are no rules tonight because this is Extreme Rules. Damn. We out of here, baby. Yep. Y'all got anything to say to these beautiful people before we get up out of here? Yep. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm.